today on Blind Date. Babush, you know what I mean? That means kidding, hi. You are, you are Babush, yes? A second chance for Mr. Romance. What's your favorite part of a woman? Absolutely the eyes, because that's like, that's what you make love to. It's a date that's almost too good to be true. Since we're not kissing on the first date, I think we should do it next time. Plus, I gotta tell you something, but I'm gonna do it in pictures. It all begins now. You can't talk bird? What's wrong with you? On Blind Date. Hey, everybody. I'm Roger Lodge, and it's time once again to gather up the whole family, put Grandma down for a nap, and we'll spend some quality dating time together. What do you say we get to it? And today, we'll kick things off with Elise and Alex. Now, Elise is an artist who asks us for a tall, refined man's man. Well, her date, Alex, just moved here from Germany. Oh, wunderbar. And he says he can't wait to meet one of those hot American women he's heard so much about. I like a girl that has a little bit of spice, like it could be a tattoo or it could be a piercing. Because I'm an artist, looks are very important to me. I appreciate the beautiful things in life. But I would like to have, you know, to date a girl with an edge because they are most, mostly fun. I'm a very strong woman because I know what I want. I would say I have a dark side. I don't need a guy. I would like to be with one, though. Well, she's certainly come to the right place. Go get her, Big Al. Okay. Alex? Elise. Nice to meet you. Is this for me? Yeah. Not right. the chicken from the sea, but... You must have swam out pretty far. Yeah, it's nice. Get inside the So what's going on? Well, hey, you have an accent. Yeah, I Where are you bit. from? Germany. You're from Germany? Mm -hmm. Oh. How long have you been over here? Like five weeks. Five weeks? Yeah. Nice. I'm not in the water the whole time. So why did you move to LA then? Um, I quit my job and I needed a change and I uh, just pretty much, I knew a lot of people in LA and I needed okay. a big city kind of change from enough. San Diego, so I moved here. So do you surf a lot? I've surfed a few times. Okay. Yeah, not a lot. And um, do you scuba dive as well? No, I never tried that. Wow, we should have checked that out, huh? It would be nice. <laughs> Like in the mountains, you can go horseback riding, which is quite nice. And scuba diving, I like. I like the roller coasters, like Mag Magic Mountain, stuff like that. I like so many parks. Yeah, I love them. They're crazy ones. So we should do that next time. Go on the roller coaster? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi, Elise. And Hello, Al. Alex. How are you doing? It's nice to have you. Come and sit down. Oh, okay. You have chemistry? Yes. Are you attracted? Yes. Okay. You attracted? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now we go on to compatibility. So, have you talked? Yes. All right. What do you like about Alex? Uh, he's... Is there anything you don't like about him? I don't... I don't know him that well, so... Of course you do, you do. What is it that you like or don't like? One thing in each area. Chemistry, God gives. Compatibility, communication, human beings develop. So if you don't have chemistry, it's almost like go nowhere. Well, I'm like, uncomfortable being in this office right In this now. office? Maybe you should talk to him now. I'm okay. not gonna say anything else. All right, here we go. So what is it you didn't like about Elise? Oh, there's nothing that comes there's to mind right now. There's nothing that no. comes to mind. No. Okay. So basically, you are the perfect blind date. Goodbye. Bye. Pleasure. Thanks so much. Oh, you're welcome. Bye -bye. Have a great time. All right, we will. So can I get an honest answer from you now? Sure. Okay. 
So what is it you like and what is it you don't like? About you? Mm -hmm. Particularly. <laughs> like put water on my face. On the foot. Um. I think you have to really know what you want as an individual to know, to be happy before you can like date, date anyone and have it go anywhere. Mm -hmm. You have to know who you are. So do you know that now? Yeah, I know what I'm working towards or working on. Okay, well that's cool. Are you gonna draw me now? Well, I'm gonna tell you something, but I'm gonna do it in pictures. Okay. Instead of um, words. All right. So I'm gonna draw you. That's me? I was gonna do like a heart, you know? I'm just not attracted to you, like the chemistry that she was saying. So I have to say there's a big, like, no chemistry. Okay. So I just wanted to tell you that in pictures. Oh, okay. So that's you, that's me, basically. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, hey, cheers to a great day. Okay, yeah, it was fun, huh? Yeah. You take me home? Yeah, I take you home. Come on, let's head and take care. Okay. Okay. Cab. Right. <laughs> okay, get home safely. Thank you. Have a good night. Huh? Okay. See you soon. I'll be your same. Okay. Good night. <laughs> ah, was ist los? Der Tag war nicht gut. Trust me, our feeder zanes are on the way. Up next. You look like a flower sitting here. He's a walking romance novel. What's your favorite part? Oh, in a woman. Absolutely the eyes, because that's like, that's what you make love to. That's next. You are the power. Get off my stage. but I'm gonna do it in pictures. Okay. I'm just not attracted to you, like the chemistry that she was saying. So I have to say there's a big, like no chemistry. So I just wanted to tell you that in pictures. Oh, okay. Ach du Liebe. I don't think our German boy did very well. So let's go ahead and find out was ist los. He was too reserved. He wasn't spicy enough for me and he wasn't wild enough for me. Normally I am, I consider myself a wild guy because normally I do crazy stuff. If I had the right guy, he'd bring it out of me. I would get wild and crazy. I'd get naked, I'd be dancing on tables. I would be, the police would probably be involved. She should be more open and not so distant on the first date and just uh, let the things come to her. To be quite honest with you, um, I'm looking for amazing chemistry and it just didn't happen with Al. There's not gonna be a second date with Elise. Trust me, Al, in this case, Alfita Zane is best. All right, moving on, let's meet Jerry and Sona. Now, Jerry's been on the show before, and we're giving him a second chance because his first date, well, it was a bit painful. <laughs> oh, it's all, huh? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Would you be interested in, in possibly like going on, to, on another date? Maybe not necessarily in like a romantic way. Yeah. I don't think Jerry would have survived a second date, but Sona will be much more gentle, I'm sure. She loves shopping and Jessica Simpson and prefers a man who will get her a straw for her beer. Ah, yes, it's the simple things. I go-go dance. I promote for beer. I don't like cocky player guys. Sometimes I don't like the attention when I'm not in the mood, so I'm just like, you. Most of the time that I meet guys, like I'm not really sexually attracted to them because I know all they want is sex and I'm not going to give it to them. But if I know that's not what it's all about, then I'm down. Wait a minute. There's actually men out there after only one thing? 
Well, thank goodness my boy Jerry's come to the rescue. Sona, mm -hmm. I am Jerry. Jerry, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet Have you. A seat. Thank you very much. You look like a flower sitting here. I have a, a weenie dog. Mm -hmm. Her name is Heidi, but she died two years ago. She was like my best friend in the whole wide world. The doctor said for like the last year, he was surprised that she lived as long as she did because of her yeah. heart condition. But he said that she just wanted to be alive because of me. Aww. I had a chicken for a long time. That was my best friend in the whole world. A chicken? Yeah, she, I had her for five um. years. And then my brother brought a dog oh, home, my. and then the dog killed it. <laughs> she'd follow me around everywhere. Like, if I went walking, she'd follow me everywhere. She was just like a little dog. That's the sweetest she thing. Did, but she'd scare away cats. She wasn't afraid of cats because we had it. Really? Yeah. The chicken's name was? Babush. In Armenian, that means cutie pie. Cutie pie, Babush? Uh huh. You are, you are Babush, yes? I'm gonna make you run, like, yeah. is that cool? <laughs> do, you, do you know this game? Can you explain it to me a little bit? Okay, you have to throw the football in the hula hoop, and it's- Wait, say that again? You have to get the football, football in the hula hoop. Yeah, that's cute. What? <laughs> hula hoop, hula hoop. Okay, that's good. And if you make it in, then you get to ask me a question. Ready? Okay, now I get to ask you a question. Okay. So what's your favorite part of in a woman? My favorite part of a woman, gosh. Yeah, that's right. The man. I like the eyes. The eyes? It's absolutely the eyes. Because that's like, that's what you make love to, that's what you speak to, that's you know, and I guess the face as well, because mm. when you think of someone you, you, that you care about, you think about their about their face, you know, talking to them, touching them. That's cool. You have a pretty face. Thank you. Yeah. Macho guy, no neck guy, and want to be like an airhead, you know? Yeah. And then they just they're all about the looks. In, in very simple layman's terms, I like you too. <laughs> like if I wrote like a 30 pages about how beautiful your eyes were. Let's <laughs> yeah. yeah. see. Go like this. Go. So we're going on the second date, right? Absolutely, yes. Since we're not kissing on the first date, I think we should do an Eskimo kiss. An Eskimo kiss? Uh -huh. What's an Eskimo kiss? Can you kiss with your nose? You want me to show you? <laughs> That's an Eskimo. 
Do you close your eyes or no? Thank you for, for a wonderful time, and I think for a blind date, I think out of all the different scenarios that could happen, this was like a, a best case scenario. Uh, you, you're, you're so beautiful, so thank you. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. Yeah. You're welcome, man. I'm excited, I mean, I'm happy I met you. Excited to kick it next time. I'll look yeah. forward. I will look forward to our second day. Alright. Senorita. Sleep Bye. well. Bye bye. That sweet, innocent, romantic date is what our little show is all about. And the tender, loving post date is on the way. What happened to the freaking hot tubs on this show? Coming up. What is a dream like you doing with a drip like that? Dear old dirty dad. Can you tell you that? You're some kind of terrific baby. The cutting room floor is coming up. Close your eyes or no? No. Yeah, I ah, a little something, something for all of you watching in igloos out there. Old Jerry couldn't have been more romantic on this date, and I think Sona just ate it up. I think I can define Jerry as as a babouche, just like my chicken, a cutie pie. When I first saw Sona sitting there in the grass, I, I thought the first thing that came to mind was a beautiful exotic flower. You seem like a sweet, cute, athletic guy. One of the most precious things about Sona is, is her cute little accent and, and her little laugh. Uh, the way she said, like, hula hoop, she's like, like, little hula hoop, <laughs> you know? It, it just kind of gets you inside. In layman's terms, I describe Jerry being romantic. When Sona gave me an Eskimo kiss, I was like, I would like to see where the second date's gonna lead. I think the Eskimo kiss went well. <laughs> And I, he might get a bigger kiss next time. I would absolutely like to, to go out on another date with Sona. Roger, thanks for hooking me up with such a romantic guy. Ah, no problem, kid. It's what I do. All right, coming up, we'll check back with these two as Jerry introduces Sona to his father, which is never a good idea. It's off our cutting room floor next. I am ordering you to heal. That's called a mama, a mama with a soft heart. Son, 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 son. I'm gonna talk to you as a dad for a second. Welcome back. Now, we just watched Jerry score a second date with Sona. However, Jerry wasn't the only one taken by this lovely young lady, as you'll see in this clip we found on our cutting room floor. Howdy, ma'am. That's Sona. Sona? Sona? Mm -hmm. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Boy. <laughs> well, welcome to my home. Uh, would you like to come upstairs and uh, have something to drink? Absolutely. You know, uh, what is a dream like you doing with a drip like that? You know? Nah, I'm just kidding. Maybe that's my boy. <laughs> that's my dad. <laughs> tell you that, you're some kind of terrific baby. <laughs> well, if he doesn't, I will. <laughs> Let her get away. No, I don't think I will. Hubba, 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 hubba. I'm thinking on their second date, they may want to skip the Chianti with Pops. 
All right, that'll do it for today. I'm Roger Lodge. Thanks for watching.